Hey, 10 days and my top 10 favorite snakes here at Serpent Center coming up. Fangs in your face. Subscribe now. What's up, Venom Squad? Hey guys, Willie here at the Serpent Center. Listen, this is an urgent situation. We are doing the big build. And you know we're getting ready to, we're, we're pushing to open by January. And I'm gonna tell you something. We were gonna build exhibits for our, for our viewing room, for the actual exhibit room. Old school ways. I was going to do them out of plywood and then actually treat the wood and do the whole thing and have it coated. And But you know, after working at Serpentarians most of my life, you realize that them kind of exhibits start deteriorating. I don't care. It might take five years. It might take 10 years. They start deteriorating and breaking down. So we've decided to go with some PVC caging. Okay. And I'm not talking about the little PVC cages. I'm talking about PVC exhibits. I mean, eight, 10 feet long, four feet to six feet high. I mean, full on big exhibits. But the problem is that then PVC companies, there's a shortage of the plastic now. And the PVC cage makers that make these custom exhibits, they come in and fit to build to your facility. They're out 90, 120 days. It's like impossible. But hallelujah, we found our guy. Okay, we found the right guy. Ryan at Custom Caging in Florida is willing to get this done for us and, I mean, and smash it. He's even willing to bring the exhibits here, install them, build them, install them in place. And then we can get busy, start decorating and doing our interior. So, now this is the big one, guys. We are on a march to raise money for the Serpent Center. We are looking for everybody to get involved. And, and you know, I want you all to realize that this just isn't our Serpentarium. This is our Serpentarium. This is all y'all Serpentarium. This isn't just going to be Willie and Dean's Serpentarium. This place is going to be the Venom Squad's home, okay? I want everybody to have a little piece of this place. Buy a brick. Sponsor an animal. If you wish to sponsor an exhibit build, and we've had a couple of our diehard Venom Squad followers, and I mean, our Venom Squad family, they have went wild with it, okay? I mean, Austin Smith, he beat everybody out to that big blackhead, okay? And he's not only sponsoring that big blackhead, he's going to have to get that big blackhead a name, okay? And it's Ares, the god of war. And it's fitting because that snake is a soldier. Okay, and Austin is also sponsoring that exhibit build. If you're interested in doing something like that for the Serpent Center, hit us in the email and we'll follow through with that way. But hey, anything helps guys, anything. $10 donation by a brick. I mean, we are on a march to raise money for the center. So we're asking for everybody's support on this. If you all can, I mean, $5, $10, $10 by a brick. Anything $100 and up will get you a one-year membership to the Serpent Center. And you can come every day if you want. <laughs> but anyways, our 10 favorite venomous snakes here at the Serpent Center, this is going to be number one. And I'm going to tell you, we don't show these snakes enough because we're still kind of growing them, but they're getting pretty sizable. Let me pull one out for you all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and we're going to try to do 10 videos in 10 days, okay? So... If they load. <laughs> if they load. We have a problem with our internet out here. I'm telling you. Hey, and if any and if any of y'all have been emailing, check your email because we've been emailing a lot of people back and it's been going into um, saying that your email's full. But anyways, now this is the Rhino Viper. This is the biggest NASA coronis. And this is an African native right here. Let's, let's see if we can get this little guy to sit still, okay? I've been raising these guys since little babies. But this is probably... What I would say is number 10 on my list of my favorite venomous animals here at the Serpent Center. And he's a gorgeous little guy. I always joke around and say I got the ugliest rhino vipers in the country. But he's starting to color up and get really pretty. But this, this snake has a cytotoxic venom very similar to its 
to its its cousins, the, the Puff Adder and the Kaboom Viper. But that is a Rhino Viper. And he's gonna get much bigger than this. This is a male. Hey buddy, let's just inch it up there towards the camera. He's gonna get much bigger than this. And it's a short, heavy bodied Viper, okay? But what's cool is the snake has many names. They often call these guys River Jacks because they're often very aquatic. Look at this head. I can't get no traction on this table wheel. <laughs> but anyways, so our, our forced march to get this done, we need to raise 10 grand in 10 days. That's what we're shooting for. That's our goal. So we can go ahead and get Ryan paid because Ryan is already busy at work starting these exhibits. And Ryan has gave us such a deal on the exhibits that we cannot fall asleep on this. We cannot let this get by us because without Ryan, this would not happen. This would not be possible. We would not be able to open until probably April. July. Or it's July. <laughs> yeah, July. 31 and, weeks, the one guy told yeah, me. Yeah, 31 weeks. But Ryan says, Willie, I'm excited to work on this with you. And we can get it done. He, goes, we can, he, he said, I got six CNC machines out there and we'll start drilling. My guys ain't going to be happy about it, but we will get it done. He goes, and I'll just get my butt in the, in the damn truck and bring the stuff to you and we'll get busy. So... We need to get Ryan paid, y'all. So let's rally together. And like I said, this isn't just my servant, Terry. You better jump back, dude. <laughs> Did you see that? He about scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I've never heard of Ryan Viper do that before. <laughs> I thought he farted. Huh? I thought he farted. He might have farted. No, he just did a quick little... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know they had vocal cords. Oh, my Lord. Oh my word. <laughs> me jump around back here. He's like, hey, you're starting to spook me. I'm gonna show y'all a little trick to get a damn rhino bike to sit still. We used to do this in the field photographing snakes, okay? You set them under the bucket for a little bit. If you're out in the field and you're trying to get a snake to sit still, a lot of times I'll carry a bucket with me and I'll just cover them with a bucket, let them sit there for a few minutes and they'll coil up and just sit tight. Then you can go ahead and lift that bucket up and get your photographs. But you usually let the bucket sit for at least four or five minutes. But we're trying to keep these videos short so we can pump out one a day. But like I was saying, before this damn Rhino Viper scared the hell out of me. <laughs> um, hey, we gotta get Ryan paid. And everybody, all the contributors, hey, contribute. Let's get the damn Serpent Center open. Open to the public, that is. We're already open doing our training courses and, and things like that. But, and that's a whole other thing. Anybody interested in first responder training? And we are offering several different packages. Just email us and we'll get back to you. We are running wild here and we're building things and we're making things happen. So, <laughs> let's see if our random wiper is going to fart at us again. See, that's a little huff. I think... You know, he's kind of sitting still. Look at that. It worked. What a neat little sting, right? And he's going to get quite a bit bigger. But, and you know what it was? Me moving around back here, acting like a fool. <laughs> and he wasn't digging it. He's like, I'm not going to sit still no more. He just yelled at me. I'll tell you though, Rhino Vipers, man, they, they got speed. They got speed just like a puff adder. And there's not a whole lot known about rhino viper venom. There's not been a lot of research done on it. We know that it's cytotoxic and it's probably hemolytic, but these guys are, are fast as grease lightning. But that's the rhino viper. That is snake number 10 on our list of favorite animals here at the Serpent Center. Okay, so we've had about enough of that farting rhino viper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna have to go back and look at it because that little quick, he actually took a poke at me, you know, and he's probably mid huff, <laughs> but that was funny. And that little guy is squirrely. I mean, feeding him is spooky because he's so fast. We have got a few of the Venom Squad that we have got to thank, and we are so thankful for. Hey, first of all, um, the Museum of the Bazaar, located in Wilmington, North Carolina. 
they are sponsoring a build, an exhibit build for one of the big fertile lands. And thank you so much. And let me tell you, if you guys have never been there, and if you go to Wilmington on a vacation or a trip, let me tell you something. You gotta hook up and see the Museum of the Bazaar. It is kind of a creepy, spooky place, but it's got some neat stuff in it. My favorite thing is the shrunken heads. I mean, you look at that little shrunken head and you're like, man, that, that person used to like be, be alive at one time. And it's just really creepy stuff, but it's really unique and it's a must see if you go to Wellington. The Museum of the Bazaar, my buddy Justin owns it. It's really cool. He's got a hell of a collection in there. But, so thank you, Justin, for your sponsorship, brother. And last but not least, let me tell you something. One of our OGs, Andrew Veslowski, who sponsors a snake and he is sponsoring an exhibit build. Thank you so much, Andrew. He just got married. So congratulations to Andrew and Amy Veslowski. We cannot wait to meet y'all. So y'all, in the next couple of days, um, when the contributions for this campaign starts rolling in, we're gonna put one of them little scale things in there and show you where we're at. And hopefully we can do it when we're at like a quarter or halfway there. But anyways, anything will be appreciated. I mean. Any kind of support, any kind of contribution would be greatly appreciated. And like I said, we want this to be our Serpentarium. We want it to be our facility, all of us, where everybody's got a little piece of this place and they're happy to come here and look at their exhibit and look at their plaque and their exhibit and say, I contributed that. Or, and, their, or their brick. <laughs> or their brick and say, I contributed that. I'm on the wall of fame over there. And Venom Central Serpent Center is part of our home. I mean, we want to build a facility where everybody can come and get educated and have fun. So, next video will be snake number nine of my favorites and look forward to it tomorrow. We would give you a time, but the way our internet is, it might take six hours, it might take nine hours to load, so we can't put them on a schedule. But anyways, hey, hit us back up. Look for the next video tomorrow. This is Willie from Venom Central. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that V logo thing and subscribe now. And come on back and check us out at Venom Central. This is Willie. We're checking out. Later.